I do think that tip, that spark arrestor, has changed it some. So what I'm going to try to do, because the next size up was so close, I want to see if I can get that one to uh, work. That would be a bigger opening. And because they sent me actually three, <laughs> two, two bigger ones, I don't know why, but I, I will see if I can modify that slightly because it's a close fit to uh, put in the end of the pipe. I think they also, you know, there is a tool to expand pipes, you know, like exhaust and stuff. So I wonder if if I took the muffler off, took it to exhaust shop and just had just a hair. affecting my riding but I, I do think it might actually be restricting somewhat and I think that's like the kit 20 or whatever and kit 25 is the next one up so I'm gonna see if we can make that one work because then it'd be that much bigger and it will then probably be fine <laughs> so this is why I get products because I can bring it to you and figure it out you know and if that's all it is if all I have to do is take an exhaust shop and they might even do it for free or a couple bucks you know just to be friendly or I wonder if AutoZone you can borrow exhaust stuff if they have anything which I could just like, yeah, you know, they loan tools out, so maybe just borrow something so I could just expand a little bit. All I have to do is expand the pipe just a tad. That might be something Gary at it, uh, GPX, you know, uh, just design that exhaust so it can fit one of those aftermarket spark arresters. And uh, I mean, it's so close for the next size up. <laughs> and then that way, they don't have to go through the approval, but they could just point you, work with one of these companies and point you to it and be like, hey, and, and another product they could actually carry on the shelves themselves you know so during checkout they can be like hey by the way are you riding in an area that you might need a spark arrestor yeah we got one from this company you know and this is what you will need because a lot of us out west here probably any public lands really you're gonna need that <laughs> Yeah, just an idea that occurred to me. So, probably an easy issue to overcome. In fact, I, I mean, I do know a fabricator guy too, but he, I mean, I'm sure he can expand pipes. I'm sure he has all that stuff for building his trophy trucks. So, I 
could check with them, but it might cost me just as much, even if I have to pay 20 bucks to, you know, some exhaust shop to do it, and which I probably would anyways. I'll probably toss them 20, just, you know, people, people might offer something free, but it's always nice to toss somebody some, some money and say, have lunch on me today, you know. So, I think that would be probably the easiest, just take it off take the next size tip up and be like, hey, I just need this pipe expanded just a tad so this fits. Now some people are just like, well, why not just spend the 170 and get a the aftermarket pipe? Because 80 bucks, and even if you toss the 20 to tip somebody at an exhaust shop, <laughs> some money, you know, 100 bucks is still cheaper than 170. And people that are buying these bikes, I mean, you're, you're gonna drop the bikes. Eventually, I probably will need a, an exhaust. I just don't wanna. That's something I just don't wanna buy right away because I've never been a big person in sound of a motorcycle. I don't care about the sound. I'm about the riding, the riding experience. So. That bike seems to be doing pretty good. In the wrong gear? What? I'm lugging. Lugging. Yep. Yeah. I think I'm in second. Yeah, I've always been one of those people, you know, bigger's better, you know, the 300 and get a 300 or, you know, like my XR650R, which I, granted, people think, well, that's a huge bike, but the thing is, there's so much torque, there's more torque on it with a 650 than there is with a 300 two-stroke down low, it's like a freaking tractor.
Not making the noise. That's good. Wow. Woo, that was good, guys. Hopefully you're liking these little short videos.